Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my October reading plans. And if you've noticed recently, I haven't had any plans. My recent plans have been going to work, coming home, eating, showering, going to sleep, then waking up, then doing it all again. My other plans include doing my degree. That's it. The end. Hence why I haven't really uploaded anything this year, which is not great. There are so many readathons going on this month. It was very hard to decide which to pick, which to participate in. First of all, the reason I've chosen these two is because, well, what's the reason? One big reason is because they're week long. I love a week long readathon. There's the trick or treat a thon. I can't say tease apparently. Trick or treat a thon, which is another readathon I want to do, but it's month long. And I'm just crusty. I can't, I can't heck and do month long things. What? Planning my whole life in a month? No, sorry, can't do it. I've tried to, I'm a failure. Let's just accept that. So it's week long, both of these readathons. I haven't even said what they are yet. I just leave you in suspense, even though you can read, you can read the title. And also because I really like the people who are hosting them. I'm really bad at like giving compliments and receiving compliments. Uh, so we'll just leave it there. I really like the creators involved in this. So the first one is the Wacky Witches Readathon, hosted by Pris Perusis. Um, this looks like a really fun readathon. It's also a week that might be quite intense for me because it's the week before my reading week for my university. No, it's not. It's two weeks before. What am I talking about? I should have no stresses. But I do still have to work and do uni stuff. So I've made myself a kind of smaller TBR. So the theme for this is witches and witchcraft, if you didn't know already. Basically what you do with this one is, I don't know because I wasn't paying attention, that's the truth. No I was paying attention, it's just I can't remember. So basically you read the books and that kind of buys you something from the witchy shop. So for me I've gone for, I can't remember, I've forgotten again, crystals. It's very late and I'm very tired of crystals. Yes, I want some crystals, I love crystals, I've got a whole heckin' pot somewhere out of reach and I'm too lazy to go and get them. This is what I'll be reading. Well I probably won't because I never read what I plan to. But the first book is read a book with a beautiful cover if you want crystals. So first one I'm going to read, can you see? No you can't see because I've got the light right there and it's really shiny. It's, what even is this called? Bless the daughter raised by a voice in her head by Warsan Shear or Shire. I'm crusty like I said. As you can see, I'm real posh and this is a signed first edition. I haven't actually looked at the signature, I just bought it and was like, ah cool. This is in my bath log if any of you are interested. Bath the place, not me sitting in a bath talking about books. Do you want that content? Well tough. Um, that's the signature. Not my face. Is that? I can't see if that zoomed in, but hopefully it did. It's quite a nice little signature, actually. What's this about? This is a poetry collection um, from this author. From this poet, author? Is a poet an author? Riddle me that. So I don't even know what this is about, what this focuses on. I could read the blurb, I suppose. Drawing from her life and the lives of loved ones, as well as pop culture, news headlines and banter, good old bants, Shire untwines, that's a difficult word for this time of night, untwines vivid transformative details from the experiences of refugees and immigrants, mothers and daughters, black women and teenage girls. I can't read the rest because the thing's over it, but I hope that gives a gist of what this is about. And the next one is, if I can even get to it, let's be honest, probably not. I'm so negative, I can do it, I, I believe in myself, I can do it. The next one is Deluxe, so if you want your Deluxe crystals, which I do, I love crystals, um, is foil on the cover. And for this, I hope to read Unraveler by Francis, ooh, Hardinge, Hardinge. What's this about? I don't know, but it's about something. I think it's about spiders. I hate spiders. <laughs> Yuck. Um, I love the back. That is beautiful. Don't focus on me, man. Focus on the book. Um, it's a lovely crescent moon. You can't cure a curse. You have to unravel it. You have to find the reasons that wave it and work out how to pull the threads loose. This has just come out. Um, this is an arc that I won at Yao. Um, it's nice and floppy. I love a floppy arc very nice. I don't want to know what it's about other than unravelling curses, that sounds quite interesting. Okay, next, Vampire Fawn. 
I never participated. This will be my first year. How exciting. What is this one? Oh yeah, it's a bingo board. Me and bingo boards don't really get on very well, but I'm hoping even if I don't get a bingo, I can still read some of the prompts. I'm going to try and do the diagonal left to right. For you, that would be this way to that way. So, boom, 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 boom. so the first book is a book to sink your teeth into. So I'll be reading the sad part was by Prabhda Yoon, translated by Mu Pupak Sokul. I hope that's how you pronounce their names. I'm just so awful at pronouncing things. I don't know what the original language was of this. The sad part was, I don't know anything about this book. This is about being sad and about chilies um, and about a building that gets flooded. Yeah. So the second prompt is spooky graphic novel slash manga. So I'm cheating. I'm sorry. I, it's just within me to break the rules. I'm a rule breaker. I'm going to be reading A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. This version I tried to read before and it has pictures in it. So I thought, yeah. I mean, I would say maybe a 20th of it is a graphic novel. Um, it's not really, but I'm going to pretend it is. What's this about? I don't know. My partner says it's really sad, so I love sad things. I'm a very sad person. So hopefully I'll enjoy it. Next, we have Thriller or Murder Mystery. <laughs> this is just a disaster. So I'll be reading Lapvona by Otessa Moshvek. Is this a murder mystery? What was the prompt or a thriller? You decide, because I don't know. I know that Ariel and Raylene like this book. I don't actually. I know Raylene likes it. I can't remember if Ariel's read it because their podcast, Books Unbound, talks about this and they're very excited for this because she also wrote My Year of Rest and Relaxation, which they really enjoyed and I was very tempted to buy the other day. I don't know if it's a murder mystery or, or a thriller, but I'm just guessing from the cover that it's pretty spooky and it would be a thriller. So there we go. Again, I've cheated. Sorry. I I've slapped my wrist. There we go. I've had my punishment. Okay, now, the last prompt. I'm out of breath. God, I talk a load of rubbish. Um, the last prompt is books set in a school. Again, if this isn't set in a school, I don't actually know this is set in a school, but if it isn't, then this is the stupidest title I've ever heard. And it's A Deadly, edu a a deadly Education, Lesson 1 of the Scholomance. I hope that's how you say that word. I'm just past the point of understanding the English language now. It's got real pretty heckin' stars all over it. Look at that. Can you see that? I don't reckon though. Wow. Wow. I've heard mixed things about this. It smells pretty decent. I also got this from Yauk. Mmm. Yeah. It smells delicious. It's a dark, smart and delicious tale. I can tell you that because th there's a quote at the top that says that, which you can't even see because it's focusing on my face. You still can't see it. You still can't see it. What's the thing people do? I still can't see it. That's okay. Right, I think we'll end it there. For one of the reader fonts, I'm reading these two, I think. Am I? I can't even remember now. Yeah. Wacky Witches, I'm reading these two. And for Vampathon, I'm reading these three, plus the other one I said, which I don't actually own. I'm borrowing it from the library. So, all together. These make up quite a satisfying stack. I'm supposed to read all of this in two weeks. <laughs> it's not going to happen. But anyway, um, thanks for coming along for this absolutely pointless video. Thank you for making it this far. Well done. Um, have a shot on me. That, that's quite impressive. If you're taking part in either, let me know. Um, if you're taking part in anything else, let me know. How are you doing? That's the real question. People are like, oh, it's, I'm so excited, it's autumn, and I don't like, I don't like it. It's getting cold. I don't like being cold. What else can I moan about? Um, oh, this government, this government's awful, isn't it? Um, <laughs> right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.